yesterday we released our latest and most talked about Robopack feature, Radar Tracking. Radar Tracking is designed to periodically monitor your Intune environment for any devices with unpatched apps and automatically add them to a specific patch group that will keep them updated. Let's jump in and see how it looks. From the Robopack homepage, you can see how it looks really by going to any package. I'm going to just go to uh, an instant app and do OBS. So from OBS, where would we, where would OBS be? OBS Studio, is it? There we go. So OBS Studio, and I'm going to set up a flow. So at this stage, nothing new. This is exactly how it used to look. We'll choose Create Flow. And from here, we, again, nothing different right on this screen because we need to start creating a wave in order for it to make some changes. So I'm going to choose Add Deployment Wave. Now, immediately you see uh, radar tracking button on the right hand side at uh, wave um, it's kind of a, it's not a wave that's something to be be aware of it looks a little like a wave but it's slightly different you can see the color change there as well I'm going to choose existing group and I'm going to deploy this to my IT pilot computers and there they are I'll choose add group to wave and now I normally change this to 100 for my IT pilot because I want at least 60% of the computers in the IT pilot group to receive the application intent, and then I want 100% to be successful before it moves to the next wave. Now, at this stage, I usually add another deployment wave. So I would add another deployment wave here and choose existing group, and I would do my app pilot users in my Robopack tenant. There we go. And then I have the same criteria here. And what you'll notice is that radar tracking has moved down to be the final wave but one thing to be aware of is that it's not technically a wave in its own right so for example when wave one completes and this is successful it moves over to wave two and when this is successful it would move to the third wave but in this case we don't have a third wave so what would happen in this scenario is that once wave one is complete wave two would begin and radar tracking is attached to wave two so radar tracking would automatically begin as soon as wave two starts. So you really you need a third wave. If you want the exact same approach of deploying applications in three waves, so IT pilot, app pilot, and then uh, all devices or everyone who needs it, then that's where you would add a third wave and make that all devices. But if you make it all devices, then radar tracking will never really have anything to do because all devices are going to get this application anyway. So having a third wave which is all devices is, is kind of no longer needed unless you want everyone to receive this application, in which case you don't need radar tracking. But if you deploy it to a specific group of computers, then any devices outside of that group obviously won't receive this application update and that's where radar tracking comes in. So let's say we have our wave one here and wave two. If I enable radar tracking by choosing enable auto, and then Robopack here for the tenant that I'm, that I'm deploying to. As soon as this one is complete, it will move to the app pilot, which actually will also enable radar tracking, and it will start deploying to all of my devices that have this particular application. That might be what you want, it might not be what you want, but at least you know that that's how it works. So once that's done, you'll see that if I choose save and start deployment, it will automatically create those waves for me here. So it says radar tracking enabled, it's going to uh, start deploying to my IT pilot and when it gets to this second wave it will be jumping over and using both the radar tracking and wave 2 configuration to create that application deployment so that all of my my applications are up, up to date as soon as radar finds them on a computer. I'm really interested in what you think about how this has been designed and what it actually does. I, I think it's an incredible feature so please leave your comments in the description. Leave your comments in the description, that won't work. Leave your comments below the video. See you next time.